Hey guys, welcome back to your Master B online tutorial video. And these days, lots of customers ask me that Master B, which printing head is the best for your uh, DEG printing business? So these are uh, good questions, because right now, lots of different printing heads on the market for different kind of machine. Like uh, Konit, they use industrial Fujifilm glassy print head. And Energy use, broad, uh, energy use the, uh, industrial Rico print head. And I also have lots of different uh, other companies use the Epson print head. Today we talk about the Epson print head because uh, the industrial print head like uh, Kony, the like uh, Galaxy, Fujifilm, Rico, is really expensive and it's almost for industrial mass production for for in mass production printers. So today, so so now the market lots of print, printers use Epson print head, but even Epson print head, there are lots of different different models. Like uh, from the cheapest one, Epson L800, to Epson 1390, and Epson R2000, then go to Epson D5, D7 print head, and then Epson 513 TP print head, and Epson 4720. So today we talk about the top level of the Epson print head, like, like Epson 5113 and Epson 4720. Why these two print head is the most popular and the most suitable for your DDG print business? Because these two print head first have a mass, pro mass production speed. They have a bigger file frequency. And then the any droplet size, the maximum droplet size can get three can get 15 picoliter. And the minimal small smallest droplet size can get 3.5 picoliter. So these two print head is the most suitable and Compatible for your DDG printing business, but even two print head they have different have some difference. So in this video where we will let, let me talk about what's the difference, what's the same thing between these two print head. So when we open the Epson five one one three print head, this Epson five one one three print head. Okay, when we open it we will get the print head like this. <coughs> and from the print head, we can see this totally have uh, eight channels. And each channel have 400 nodules. So totally, the Epson 5113 print head have uh, 3,200 nodules. And from the top, we can see there's no Ink damper, ink damper port for insert dampers. You need to buy a separately, separately the ink damper transit parts to install damper on the printer. Okay, now we open the Epson 4720 print head. When we open the print head, we can find out that the print head like this. So these two print heads, when we compare it, we can see the two print heads have same channels. Eight channel and each channel have 400 nodules, totally, same, totally have the same nozzle amount to 3,200 3, nodules. So have same nozzle amount and the same ink droplet size. Some people also will call the Epson 4720 print head as Epson 5103 plus. But this also is a big difference between these two print heads. So first, uh, when we see to the front, when we go to the front, we can see here the Epson 5103 print head. The, on the top, there's no position to connect the ink damper. And go to the Epson 4720, we can see they have a connection, connection port to, to allow you to connect the dampers. So Epson 5113, no dampers. And Epson 4720 have dampers. So if you want to use the Epson, 5, Epson 5113 for your uh, DDG print business, you need to buy a separate uh, transit board to install on the on your, on your printer, on the print head, like this. And also we can see there's a rubber ring. There's a rubber ring for each channel to protect the ink not leaking inside the print, inside the ink channels here. So, but it's physical connection. You need to use the 
you need to install here like this and then use the screwdriver to fasten the screw so it's difficult to install the transit board like this Okay, so you install the transit the board like this, but it's it's dangerous for install this. If you don't use this one, you cannot install the you cannot install damper. If you install this one, people always meet the problems for because you you cannot loosen, you cannot adjust the, the because you uh, you you loosen install the board by hand by hand. So. If this one, two, three, four screw, the fastness are not the same, not equal. Maybe you will, you will get the problem for leaking ink inside up here. In the ink will be leaking from here, from here, from here, from here. If the print head the, get ink leaking, it will be easy to fire the electricity system inside of the print head. So, because they need the transit board to insert dampers. So this is a big risk to use for your digital print business. So 89% customers, they get their print head problems broken, not because the print head got clock or, or used or out, of, out of working time. Almost uh, the problem become the, the ink leaking inside to cause the print head problems. So this is a big risk and a bigger cost to take for the digital print business. If you cannot install well, if you are not professional per, professional technology, you cannot use well wear for the Epson 5000 print head. Okay, so this is the first uh, uh, distance difference, uh, first difference between the two print head. One, there is no no, cannot, inst cannot install the damper directly for Epson 503. For Epson, Epson uh, 4720 print head, you can install the uh, damper directly. And it's, it's not never recent. So by Epson 4720 print head, you will never meet the problem to as uh, uh, leaking ink, leaking ink inside to cause the print head problem to get short. So this is very important to to save a big big cost and uh, less risk for using Epson 4720 print head. Okay, so the first one is the difference for the ink damper design, ink damper connection design, and also when we go to the size of the print head, the total print head, we can see. The Epson 4720 print head is small, smaller than the Epson 513 print head. So, what's the what was the use for for if they make it smaller? Because if we make the if we take the Epson 4720 print head, small print head, so when we print by one pass print like this, wet color, wet print head at the front, uh, wet print at the front, and a color print on the back side, so we can get the enough. Enough distance between this print head because it's more we can close by edge. But if but if we take Epson 5103 print head, two print head will be 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 length, the length will be bigger to here. So the carriage, the carriage for moving the the length of the carriage is bigger. So once the carriage gets bigger, the table must be bigger. So if we make the same size of printer, the Epson 513 cannot get the same printing printing size of Epson 4720 print head because the print head too big. This one, this position is too big distance. So cannot get a good uh, enough printing, printing size. You need to enlarge the machine to bigger, a big machine, bigger, bigger machine design. But, the, but if we take Epson, 5, uh, Epson 4720 print head, we can make, print, we can make the DDG printer smaller 
the carriage is smaller. So the printing size will be, in, will be bigger enough. So that's the design of the top cover between the Epson 5103 and Epson 4720. It depends. Epson 4720 get small top cover design to get best one pass printing result. So this uh, take the distance, the cover distance, the cover distance. Here bigger and here smaller. Okay, so the the third the third difference is the ink flow design. <coughs> it's very important. This is the ink damper. This is the ink damper, and it connect to the print head like this. This five one three install like this. So we can use the injection connect with the short tuber. We can do the test. Okay, so when we connect the the ink hole and we push the injection, we can see that the injection push back. It cannot go through. So that means the ink cannot go through by positive. And also if we pull out, if we pull out the injection, also automatic back the pressure. So that means the ink, the ink from the top, the ink from the top cannot back, cannot go down and cannot go back. It's it's locked. It's locked. Like this. You can only pull the ink, clean the ink from the cap station. And and when we go to the Epson four seven twenty print head, we can see it can be go through. They can go through and also can go back. And never back. Go through and go back. So this different design. Instead of the print head, the ink flow design is different between the Epson 5.3 and the Epson 4.720. So what's the what's the use for what's the use use for your DDG printing business? What's the matter for your DDG printing? Because if uh, the ink from the top cannot go through and cannot go back, it can only can only the ink go go out from the bottom of the print head. That means if you use the print head for wet ink printing, cannot do the good saturation because the wet ink is easy to saturate and easy to dry, faster to dry. So we must require, must make a good wet ink recirculation system for, for the wet ink. So if the wet ink cannot go through and not go up, so that means all the, the, the wet ink saturation system can only the wet ink go to the, go to the tuber and go back to the bottle, wet ink bottle. The ink inside of the damper and the ink inside of the print head cannot get resaturation. So the ink, the balance ink on the ink damper and the balance ink inside the printer will be easy to clog, easy to saturate, to dry, to cause the print head clog. But if we take Epson 4720 print head for using, DDG printing, because the ink, because the ink can be goes go up, go down, and it can go up. So we just need to require a value, a, a, a switch to protect the ink, not go back, and then the ink will. We can make the wet ink recirculation system. The wet ink go to the inset of the ink damper, and the wet ink go inside of the print head, and then the way the balanced ink can go back, go back to the the general ink tank to get the, the wet ink resaturation to the inside of print head and dampers to protect the wet ink saturating and dry too fast to cause the print head clog. So this is the most useful, one of the most useful features technology te technology to to require a good wet ink density print printing to uh, to protect wet ink clog. So this is very very important to that's why why use text we must be strongly commanded you to take the Epson 5, uh, 4, 720 print head for DDG print like this because that you can get a good design for wet ink recirculation system. Okay, then the the speed of these two print head. The Epson 5103 the, the Epson 4, 720 print head can get mass production by three pass, four pass and eight pass printing. Even you want even you want a uh, Mass production speed it also can meet the requirement. 
and also it can get the, the higher solution printing by 720 times 3600 600 dpi for higher resolution printing. But Epson 513, the speed is 20% slower than Epson 4720 print head. So this is the, the fourth difference between the two print heads. And then also the fifth print difference between two print heads is the ink capability of the print head. The Epson 513 print head can only use the with water-based ink, like uh, the last two garment ink, uh, pigment ink and uh, sublimation ink cannot use for oil-based inks like uh, UV ink, echo solvent ink, they cannot use it. But the Epson 4720 print head, the ink cap capability is bigger or stronger than Epson 513. It can allow you to put pigment ink, water-based ink, echo solvent ink, or UV ink, all can be used in Epson 4720 print head. And also the working life, inside the, inside the, design, the inside design of the print head is stronger. The field, this uh, film to, to fill the ink inside the print head is stronger and thicker than the Epson 5113. So the working life, the working life for Epson, for, uh, Epson 5720 is stronger and longer than Epson 5113 print head. So the working life difference. Okay, so those are these the te technical features that compare with Epson 513 and Epson 4720 print head. And another reason why we recommend you to take Epson 4720 print head for your DDG printer because the Epson 513 print head is stopped production since the last year, 2018. The half the 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 uh, the half year the, the last year, uh, 20. 15, 2018 years, the Epson 513 print head stock production. So the print head you bought from the market is for stock. It's not for, for fresh, not new. And another reason, another reason uh, strongly recommend you to take Epson 4720 print head for your DDG printer printing business because the Epson uh, 513 print head is stock production since the last year, 20, 2018 years. So the print head you bought for Epson 513 on the market is is not not is just a stock. It's not a new from Epson company. But the, the Epson Epson 4720 print head is the popular, most popular print head uh, since this year 20, 2019. So it have enough stock from Epson company, and we are even not meet any problem to that. You cannot even have money, but you cannot get a print head on the market. And also you can buy from the print head from anywhere, from the internet, from Amazon, from, from China, from local. It's easy to find out. But Epson 513 print head is a little bit difficult to, to search and to, to buy for, for continuous DDG printer. And uh, another reason that why we take Epson 4720 print head because the Epson 513 print head get locked, get locked. And since, since now, this print head get a three times lock. So even you buy a printer head, print head from, from the internet or from local, it's very really hard for you to recognize it's locked or not locked. So if you get the bad luck, bad lucky, you will get the print head but cannot use it because inside the, the firmware and the electronic design is totally different for every different version for Epson 513 print head. So even you ask somebody that, do you have any Epson 513 print head for selling? They will tell you, yes, I have, but when you get the print head and install on your printer, you cannot print because it gets locked. It's locked from Epson, by Epson company. So it's a big risk to buy and to continue your DVD print business because the Epson, because the print head is belong to your consumable. If you not maintain where, you not pay attention in where, you will get a clog, you will get the scratched on the surface, you need to change a new print head for using, so take the Epson 513 print head for DDG is the big risk for, for using. But, but Epson, the nearest uh, 4720 print head, you will never meet this kind of problems because this, uh, the, copyright, the copyright is open and you can buy the print head from anywhere and easier and convenience and safety and cheaper to get print head. So, okay, so the last one, we talk about the price. 
it's totally big, big difference. Right now, the Epson 5 wants to print head in the market or internet. The price is around of 650, 650 to 700 dollars right now. But for each print head, but the Epson newest uh, 5 one, uh, newest 4720 print head is the, right now the price is around 350 to uh, 400 dollars for each print head. But the price price is not stable. Maybe sometimes rising, sometimes reduce. So anyway, this this print head cheaper, half cheaper than Epson. 513 print head. So, so this is the totally 10 reasons that must be to strongly recommend you if you buy a printer, if you buy a DTG printer to, to, to running a DTG print business. First of all, you must ask the supplier what kind of print head that you're using. And you must uh, think about the mail attention for the technical and the stock, the price, the, the stable and the ink, cap, uh, ink capability, lots of pictures you need to pay attention to. Otherwise, you will get a big risk to invest your DTG print business. Okay, so this the all the all the comp, all difference and the suggestions from Master B for how to choose the the suitable print head for DTG printing business. And also, you can ask Master B or leave your message if you have any other questions. For your for your digital printers and the print head choosing. Okay, thank you. See you next time. Bye.